गुड मॉर्निंग जय श्री कृष्ण लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड क्लोज आईज हैंड्स इन ध्यान मुद्रा बैक स्ट्रेट रिलैक्स शोल्डर्स वी विल चैन थ्री लॉन्ग ओंकार्स फॉलोड बाय द ओपनिंग प्रेयर्स रिकॉर्ड 
so maybe i have same presentation that i prepared yesterday so you could can up hold um elbows up and down so we might have similar session sometime later in our group and i knew few things probably i need to add or update or something so we can get even better way to our group that was mainly that the topic was relieving stress okay hold all the fingers together over the shoulders circle the folded elbows at the biggest possible touching both elbows together in front touching back of the palms at back of the head inhale up exhale down and reverse the direction and relax extend both hands sideways palms at the shoulder level to begin with elbow straight turn the palms 90 degree up then circle the palms around the shoulders equally into all the direction you can do it slowly with full attention <coughs> the built in gps system we have that called proprioception so we close the eyes and we exactly knew how our palms are circling the down up is not going on the back front we knew everything like positioning so we knew the position even with closed eyes and reverse the direction and relax both hands up stretch the upper body up as we inhale exhale twist the upper body to the one side look back align chin with the shoulder keep pushing the knee forward inhale come back to center to the second side try to keep trunk vertical back straight for the better stretches come back we'll do one more time inhale come back and complete onto the second side back now interlock the fingers place the palms over the forehead if inhale hold the breath and we push head and palms against each other release the breath release the palm from back of the head you can also same time try to push elbows backward okay one more time from front of the head and back of the head feel some stretches at the neck joint neck muscle and complete from back of the head and from side of the head both the sides twice alternatively with breath coordination do with complete mindfully with full awareness specifically keep the awareness on whichever body parts it is being utilized next look straight at the level of the eyes deep inhale as we exhale slowly turn the head towards right 
try to look at the farthest point back on right side with the parsa drashti four five inhale come back to center exhale to the second side feel some stretches at the neck joint neck muscles inhale back to center yes to one more time both the side try to stay in pose for at least about 5 counts inhale come back and complete onto the second side inhale come back next inhalation raise the head up look up in the ceiling feel the extension at the throat fully exhale look down chin at the chest inhale up again exhale chin at the chest and turn the head toward the right side as we inhale to circular fashion going upward slowly gently fully consciously exhale toward left bring the chin at the chest again and two more circles exact same way make sure we are looking at the farthest point back at each of the point in circle so that way we ensure that we are trying to circle the biggest possible and complete the third circle from right to left then reverse the direction inhale towards left exhale towards right and complete the third circle from left to right spring the right palm or sorry left palm out palm facing outward bring the right palm there and interlock the fingers completely inhale bring palms toward chest exhale bringing them out make sure our finger stays interlock exhale back inhale out we are twisting them and relax now on to the second side right palm out so first we are holding right palm outward holding it there bring the left palm there from outside and interlock the fingers completely inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and release okay now sit in l shape <coughs> dandasan pole pose warm up the waist and below both palms beside the hips to support the body back straight we can lean slightly forward legs fully grounded knees straight and pull the toes inward and hold feel some great sensations from the calf muscles and knee joints squeeze and release all the toes together few times inhalation push them forward exhale pull them back inhale forward exhale back alternate few times Hold heels together, toes together, 
and circle the toes at biggest possible. And reverse the direction. At each activity, whenever you don't need to look at the screen, you can keep the eyes closed and you can feel the body internally. Relax. Bring both hands at the back. Lean slightly back. Look up. Separate feet, couple of feet apart and roll the toes in and out. Keeping the knees straight, legs fully grounded. We should be able to feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Come back. And fold at the right knee. Grab the right lower leg into both the hands. As we dip, inhale. Push the folded right leg all the way towards the right. Feel extension at the right hip joint. Four, five. Exhale. Push the leg towards left. And hold the breath out. Two, three. Inhale. Towards right. For five counts. Exhale. Push it towards left. For three counts. Shishu Palanasan. So this is not Pashu Palanasan, this is Shishu Palanasan. And towards left. And relax. Now rest the right foot onto the left thigh, interlock the right toes with left fingers. Keep pushing the knee down, creating spring action, increasing blood circulation. Increasing flexibility, increasing energy level. Keep the left uh, leg straight, left toes pointed out. Now bring the knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor. Hold the breath in. Exhale, bring the knee to the, to the chin. Let's do a couple more times. Each time when we push knee down, we keep our back straight or vertical. And hold the right <coughs> upper leg into both the hands. So inhale, straighten the leg and lift it up, all the way up. Exhale, bring it down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and we will circle the lower leg. Let the toes guide the direction. Inhale up. Exhale down. You can do the same way while circling as well. With breath coordination. Reverse direction. And straighten the knee and grab the right ankle, right heel. Or all the way to the right foot. Wherever we can reach. But knee should be straight. Lift the leg up. High as possible. As long as we can keep the knee straight. Inhale, exhale, normal. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, drop the head down, put the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back and relax. <coughs> right leg. <coughs> we'll hold at the left knee, same thing. First, Shishu Palanasan towards left. Deep inhale. As we push, the folded left leg all the way to the left. Four, five. Exhale. Push it over the right. Hold the breath out for three count. Hold the pose. Inhale. Again, toward left. Feel the extension at the left hip joint. Exhale. Toward right. And third time. Deep inhale, hold the breath in, keep pushing the leg, exhale, bring it back towards the right, two, three, and relax. Now let's rest, left foot onto the right thigh, 
interlock the left toes with right fingers and let's keep pushing the left knee down to the floor right leg remains straight right toes pointed towards the wall in front try to keep the back straight trunk vertical as much as possible bring knee to the chin inhale push it down to the floor exhale and into the chin and do a couple more times <coughs> Exhale, bring it down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down and circle the left lower leg, let the left toes guide the direction, inhale up, exhale down and reverse the direction, try to hold the upper leg straight so we can utilize the knee joint maximum and straighten the knee grab the left foot <coughs> pull the leg up high as possible without bending the knee inhale exhale normal deep inhale and with deep exhale drop the head down bend it to the left knee inhale come back and relax and rest the legs next continuing activity on the hip joints pelvis area just fold at both the knees doing titali asan butterfly pose align the feet Interlock the fingers, press them over the toes. Thumbs will go directly under the big toes. Bring the knees all the way up, all the way down. Just making sure that this is the biggest joint have no issues. And then we will start flapping faster. Up and down. We can lift the knees even up higher to create the momentum. So we should be able to bring our knees closer to the floor. side by side completely go down like the whole folded leg will be going on the floor we are passing through the muladhara chakra feel it keep pushing the upper body towards heels once we are at the heels or heels closest to the perineum as much as possible then we can stop grab the toes tightly Push the knees down to the floor, hold the back straight. We are doing Bhaddasan or Bhadrasan, bound pose. Keep awareness at the pelvis area and hip joints. Close the eyes. Deep inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen. And notice the extra stretch into the hip joints and pelvis area. Six, seven, exhale fully. Deeply inhale again, hold breath for seven count. During that time, make sure our back stays straight, knees are pressed down to the floor. Do with full awareness at the pelvis area and hip joints. Exhale. Let's do two more rounds. Do with own pace with breath coordination and awareness.
once you're done, then roll the body side by side. You can pushing the upper body towards back. You can continue with closed eyes or you can open it, but feel the body internally. Don't go too far away, maybe about one foot away from the hills. Then stay there, we'll do Baddha Konasan, grab the toes tightly again, back straight, align head, neck and trunk, push the knees down to the floor, deep inhale, deep exhale, and we lower the trunk and head both together and see if we can bring the forehead onto the toes. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time Baddha Konasan. Do it more effectively, more efficiently. We will try to pull the upper body away from the hips. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, lower the trunk and head. We can use the folded elbow to push the lower legs backward in order to pull the upper body even further forward and down. See if we can bring the chin onto the toes. Inhale, exhale, in pose. So each exhalation, we will keep on pushing head and trunk further down and that way we can stay longer in pose. Inhale, come back up and slowly we will sit down into cross leg posture, complete relax, can <coughs> sit into <coughs> Sukhasan, Siddhasan, Swastikasan while half hiding the toes under the folded knee or you can sit into half lotus or full lotus, whichever pose your body allows and you're comfortable. I used to, like years back, I used to sit into this pose and I was able to bring my palms on the opposite direction and try. I was able to grab the feet very easily, but then we never continued and we lose that kind of flexibility. And plus expansion of the Madhya Pradesh, that also comes in a way. Okay, so we can try one day. We can try with some some props, you know, bring, uh, like put some uh, rope over here, napkin, something day by day. Just we just moving half millimeter every time we try, just half millimeter. So it might take probably six months, and we'll be there. Great. I see someone trying. Let's see if everybody raise the hand if you can do that. That would be great. Very few people can do that. Okay, maybe that's a homework. Bring both hands on the side with deep inhalation, full awareness. Bring both hands together. We'll do Parvatasan. Exhale. Inhale again. Raise both hands up. Rest them onto the top of the head. Exhale. Inhale, raise both hands all the way up. Palms are aligned completely, vertically over the head, so biceps at the ears. Inhale, exhale, normal in pose. Stretch the whole upper body towards up. We can push the palms even towards ceiling while inhale, exhale. As we start lowering the hands, do a one long exhalation as we bring hands on the top of the head and the chest and all the way down to the floor. Just do two more times. Do it closed eyes. Fill the body internally with full awareness, with breath coordination, two times.
Okay. <coughs> and once you're done, then bring both the hands into the hand mudra. Get straight, relax shoulders, close the eyes. We'll do Pastrika Pranayam, deep inhale, deep exhale. Slowly, steadily, fill up the lungs fully and slowly, steadily, breath out and empty the lungs. Do it full awareness. Notice that our lungs are completely full and also notice that lungs are empty. eyes and breathe in and out normal. Next we will do Surya Nadi Pranayam. Bring right hand up. Make Vishnu Mudra on right hand. Roll first to fingertip into root of thumb. Deep inhale on right and deep exhale on right. So right and right only. Keep holding the left nostril down. Block it using the right fingertip. Left hand can be in any mudra, can be Vayu Mudra, Dhyan Mudra, upon Vayu Mudra, whichever you prefer. Round when we breathe out on right. Next, Kapal Bhati Pranayam. <coughs> Roll first fingertip into root of thumb on both the hands, Vayu Mudra. Deep inhale, fill up the lungs fully. Now forcefully exhale in multiple exhalations. Stroke, you can, the frequency of stroke you can keep as per your comfort level. Usually, one second or one stroke. Once you fully breathe out, then you breathe in again and do the another round and keep on doing for a few rounds.
with in and out normal still sambhavya mudra for 10 seconds bring palms toward ceiling i will say 10 seconds after we get into this mudra tilt the head slightly up close the eyes keep awareness in between the eyebrows and agnya chakra now stay completely still for 10 seconds feel the body internally let the vibrations calm down let the energy get absorbed into the body and 10 seconds over come back next we'll do Vastrika Pranayam variation, loose fist at the shoulders, folded elbow and ribs. Deep inhale, deep exhale, just one time normal. Forcefully inhale up, open up the palms, exhale down, make a fist, inhale up, exhale down. Do the forceful breathe in and out. If you have blood pressure issue, heart problem, do it slowly. Try to keep the folded elbow close to ribs. Let <coughs> me bring them down. Not, not like away. And relax. Ten seconds. Sambhavi Mudra. Come back. Second round. Slight different. Deep inhale, deep exhale, one time. Forceful inhale up, exhale down, inhale front, exhale back, inhale side, exhale back. Mudra for 10 seconds. Come back. Okay, and do some stretches. So for preparation for the Kailas Mansarovar Yatra, we may be practicing some. Not in our routine yoga session, but separately with only uh, those people who are going. Some kind of breathing technique, like high altitude breathing, how we, we can simulate at our home. And walking, jogging, hiking, everything. Upavishta Kodasana, deep inhale, exhale. Lower the head and trunk, grab the feet. Inhale, come back up. Second round. Exhale, down. Inhale, come back up. Turn the upper body perpendicular to the right leg. Fully exhale, bend down. Try to push the head further down onto the right knee. Inhale up towards left. Exhale, bend down. Grab the left foot equally with both the hands. Inhale, come back up. And fold at the left knee, bring the left heel at the perineum. <coughs> Dhanu Sirsasan. Inhale, raise right both hands. Up, look up. Exhale, bend down. Stay longer in pose. Inhale, exhale, normal. Each, ex each exhalation, push the head and trunk further down and down. 10, 9, 8, 
two, one. Inhale, come back up. And next we'll do Parivrutta Janu Sirsasan. Bring the right palm in the front. Palm facing towards ceiling and grab the right, right big toe. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, bring the left hand also onto the right big toe. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Relax the lower back. The whole upper body is rested onto the right leg. Inhale, come back up. Slowly transition to the second side. First, we will do Janu Sirsasan. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg. Inhale, both hands up. Look up. Fully exhale, bend down. Grab the foot and push head and tongue down as much as possible. Our goal is to bring it to the left knee. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. And Parivrutta Janu Sirsasan. Towards left. Do with breath coordination. With full awareness. Keep looking up towards the ceiling. Left toe grab by both the hands. The whole upper body is rested onto the left leg. Relax the lower back. Inhale, come back up. And bring both the legs in the front. Align them. Next, Paschimottanasan. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, bend forward and down. Apply Uddiyanaband. Means, tuck the stomach inward and hold it. Keep pushing head and tongue further down. As long as we can hold the breath out while holding the tongue. Uh, the stomach inward as well. Inhale, come back up. Second time, Paschimottanasan. Feel that the thighs are pressed against the lower abdomen. at the back, so deep inhale, face the lower back up, push the toes toward the floor, look back into, into the wall, drop head down as much as possible, keep pushing the lower back up as much as possible, so body will assume one straight line from back of the head to the heels. down, get into the L shape, Dandasan, pole pose, we do Vakrasan, hold at the right knee, bring the right foot close to the left knee, bring the right hand back, try to keep it closer to the body, align it with the spine, inhale, left hand up, exhale, bring it outward of the right knee, push the right knee towards left and see if we can grab the left knee, fully exhale as we look back. Align chin with the right shoulder. Inhale, come back. And slowly we will transition to the second side. So when we fully exhale and when we look back, we are 
twisting our stomach area so that point we will tucking the stomach in go with full awareness closer to each other, align them, you can adjust the heels also by lifting the upper body up, whichever side knee is up, that side hand will go up, with help of the other hand we can push it down as low as possible, then we can bring the other hand at the back, so that way there is a great chance of connecting both the hands at the back, once you make a good connection, Look straight at the level of the eyes, correct the posture, head, neck, trunk in vertical line. You can close the eyes, you can scan the body or from head to toes for connection with the mat. Or if you have extra flexibility, you can dip inhale as we exhale. Tuck the stomach inward and try to bring the forehead onto the knees. and we will do Ardha Machyandrasana so don't completely disassemble the legs just push whichever side knee is up bring it up and push the foot bring it into the front closer to the other knee same side the hand will go at the back inhale raise the other hand up exhale bring it around the knee which is up push it toward the other side twist tuck the stomach in and look back Align chin with the shoulder at the back. Inhale, come back to center. And transition to the other side. First we will do both <coughs> cousin. If you have difficulty of connecting the hands at the back, you can have cloth napkin, that's a good idea. So you can just have, you can use it. You can put knots on a rope and then you can slide, slide both the hands onto that rope or napkin and try to bring both the hands closer and closer. Correct the posture. Deep inhale, deep exhale, tuck and hold the stomach inward as we bring forehead onto the knee. Inhale up. So here what we can do is, let's say, see if I have a difficulty on that side or this side. So I will just bring the napkin, grab it. For practice, I can just hold it and with the whichever hand is up, I will pull it up. So that way, my second hand will go up. Right? And then I can let the napkin go. And then I can try to connect both the hands. So that would be a good idea. So first, we will pull it up <coughs> a little bit. <coughs> and we can do that way. Okay, and Ardha Machyandrasan on to the same side. So you can practice at home, that is for the homework. So try that, so we can connect both the hands together. With full awareness, with breath coordination, with bandhas. Get into the pose, Ardha Machyandrasan, look back. 
get inhale exhale in pose but inhale when we come out or coming back from the pose and we are sitting into vajrasana लर्न गीता नाम ना प्रोग्राम चले लगभग वर्ष उपर थी गय गया नवम्बर तो हम अमर चौथो लेवल पूरु थे लगभग बे वीक आखो कम्प्लीट अठार अध्याय न पठन शुद्ध उच्चारण के एक एक श्लोक न बढ़ो अमर अत्यार महीना में अमर कोर्स आखो पूरा थे फ्री कोर्स हो कम्प्लीटली रोज चालीस मिनिट पांच पांच दिवस रोज चालीस मिनिट इंडिया टाइम प्रमाण हो आखो एक परिवार जो थी गये गीता परिवार तो आखू वर्ल्ड वाइड है पीछे एरिया वाइज अलग अलग ग्रुप थे रीत डीएम वी ना डीसी मेरलेन वर्जिनिया वी कॉल इट डीएम वी और डीएम वी एरिया नु एक ग्रुप थी गये अमरु गई का गीता जयंती निमित्ते आखी पारायण थी बदा अध्याय हाइब्रिड थी रूबरू आए कि रूबरू बाकी बदा जूम मैं रीते आज दुर्गा मंदिर आज सीमिलर वे राखेलू तर हाइब्रिड है बोलवा कोई ने चेट ऑनलाइन नहीं करवा गई काले अमार ऑनलाइन चेट गए तो हाफ एंड हाफ आज लिंक मोकलीस जेने खाली कनेक्ट करव हो तो बढ़ सा आखे आख जो सांभ बखो पारायण रिमोटली आज ऑनलाइन मंदिर पब्लिक प्लेस लैंग्वेज क्लासीस चले ते स्केड्यूल अनुकूल स्केड्यूल अवेलेबल हो लिस्ट हो स्केड्यूल ते क्या फ्री छो ए प्रमाण Okay, so that was something great I wanted to share. And um, it's a bad day was actual Gita Jayanti. Gay kalle hathi, but a bad day was celebration. Chale the. I'm to aku week week kani jige celebration revanu the. Okay, let's get on all the ten toes. At least ena matte the apnu vyakran, apnu pronunciation. संस्कृत नो हिंदी नो गुजराती नो बूव थी जाए अमने तो बहुत मजा आई नोकेवरीबडीवर्ड्स and bring the forehead onto the knee stay longer in pose inhale exhale normal in exhalation keep on pushing the head and trunk further down inhale till the head up and bring the hands back and to the second side very slowly <laughs> Align head, neck, and trunk. Deep inhale. As you deep exhale, walk the hands toward the hill one at a time. Otherwise, we may fall down. Keep on pushing head and trunk further down and down with an exhalation. Shasan, soul actually, S O L E, not S O U L, S O L E, souls together, toes pointing down towards the floor. We can sit vertically onto the heels, so there will be easy to hold the balance. 
can bring both the hands into pranam or over the head or all the way up seconds into virasan slide the heels outward and bring the glute muscles sitting bones directly rested onto the floor try to keep the back straight feel the lots of extension stretches into the thigh muscles hamstring probably the adductor muscles knee joints calf muscles Slowly come back to Vadrasan. Next, we'll do Mandukasan frog pose. Some of the great poses, actually, all poses are great, but some of at the top that we try <coughs> not to miss in any session. Action both hands in the front, keeping thumbs inside, make tight fist. Deep inhale, hold the breath at the abdomen area, then bring top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel. Forceful exhale, bend down without leaving the heels. Push head and trunk as low as possible when we can no longer push the trunk down. Hold the trunk there and tilt the head slightly up. Inhale, come back up. Mandukasan frog pose, second round, same sequence. or Supta Vadrasan. So you can stay in Vadrasan pose and then you can go backward or you can change to a Virasan and then you can go backward. So whichever way you like in both the cases with the help of the palms and elbows we will slowly let our upper body completely lay down on the floor. So back and back of the head and rested on the floor. Separate the shoulder blade away from each other to allow the portion of the back in between the shoulder blade also rest on the floor. Bring both hands up. Rest the palms on the top of the thighs. Make sure the knee stays grounded. With closed eyes, relax lower back. Relax hip joints, thigh muscles, knee joints, calf muscles. And keep full awareness onto those body parts with which just relaxed. Slowly come out of the pose, grab the ankles, both the hands, push the elbows down to the floor and lift the body up Come back into the initial pose. If you have difficulty on coming out of the pose, then you don't have to worry much. Let's say when we are in pose, and some reason if I <coughs> cannot lift up my upper body up at all, if I stuck, then just roll on a side way, just in order to come out of the pose. Any of the side, you can just roll in can easily come out otherwise you will be locked in a position and you might don't have mobile nearby to call 911 you don't need to separate the knees at least a couple of feet apart stay sitting on the heels bring both palms on the floor 
in between the knees, align head, neck and trunk, deep inhale. As we deep exhale, start walking the hands towards front, all the way out. And bring the chin and chest onto the floor. Our connection with heels and hips till there. Relax shoulders, relax lower back, relax hip joints. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Child pose Sashankasan, also consider one of the relaxing pose. Left inhalation, tilt the head up and walk hands towards body. And let's get onto the knee. On the knees. We have a little yogi today. Put the right hand onto the right leg. Inhale, <coughs> raise the left hand up. As we exhale, bend towards the right side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Gate pose, parigasan. Keep sliding hand all the way down to the ankle, or you can go even beyond. Inhale, come back up. Stay in same leg position. We'll do one more time. Deep inhale. Stretch the left hand all the way up toward the ceiling. Exhale. Second time going down, down, down toward the right. All the way at the ankle while keep looking up into the ceiling as low as possible. Inhale, come back up, and we will transition to the second side. So we'll do gate pose, parikasan, towards left. Stretch the right hand up towards ceiling as we inhale. Exhale, keep looking up toward the ceiling. As we bend towards left, left hand going down all the way to the left ankle or left foot. Feel the pull stretches. Inhale, come back. Second time, same side. into the front of the wall and next inhalation push the lower back up and tilt the head even up higher trying to make the spine downward arc fully exhale look at the navel fold the elbow slightly to lower the shoulders spine upward arc inhale look up again feel the stretches we need to deliberately push the lower back up Exhale, we need to push the lower back down to make the spine upward arch properly. Inhale up again, spine downward arch. Let's do three more times. Do with breath coordination, do with own pace.
Okay. So, um, the Marjari Asan, Kent and Kaupol, also very good for stress relieving. Now, separate the heels and knees, same at the shoulder width. We are going first into half camel pose and then from there we will transition to the full camel. Both hands at the waist, fingertips pointing down, next inhalation, arch backward, look into the back wall, push the pelvis forward, make sure our pelvis is pushed out, it will be crossing the knee line on the floor. Try to bring both the elbows closer to each other. Keep dropping head further down. Now very slowly, if you have ability to transition into full camel pose, then one hand at a time, you can bring it to the corresponding heels. You can drop the head further down. Continue looking into the back wall as we keep pushing the pelvis forward. Sampurna Ustrasan, full camel pose. Very slowly come out of the pose. Bring the one hand back at a time in circular fashion. And finally straighten the trunk. <coughs> and let's stand up. Relax feet, legs, thighs, hands. Okay, go sideways, sideways, ek hath ne, ek direction ma circle karo, koi pade ek direction, dhime dhime, ane bida hath ne eni opposite direction ma move karo. So, bow arms, both the arms. No, no, no. Be yek direction ma dai se, gana bada ne. Mo bada skin ma vara farti do su. Ek. Be. Tran. Char. Paach. Aray wa. Aba eid sa tada is number. Dime dime practice ave ki. Okay, now let's do the reverse. So this tells our brain is just left, left side and right side. They are able to function independently too. Okay, some people, they are still both the arms going in same direction. Of course, they are going one after another, but they are still going in a... Let's see, if I'm doing this way, like they both are going same direction. So one is going this way, one... They should be crossing each other. That's why you can tell that they are going in opposite direction. Okay, so homework. Homework. Let's see, tomorrow we will do it again and see how many people are able to do it. Okay, <laughs> let's go on to Tadasan. So when we do this activity, because our left side of the body controlled by right side of the brain, right hemisphere, vice versa, and right side by the left side of the brain. So when we do these two independent things on both the sides, that means brain has to do micro communication. That will give some kind of relaxation. Plus, there are so many other benefits, mind related. Let's go on the sun as we inhale on the toes, interlock the fingers, stretch the palms upside down, push the palms all the way up into the ceiling. Exhale down one more time. We will walk around the mats, two circles, try to make the smaller step so our knees shouldn't bend. 
and we will walk two circles on the hills. So two circles hills, two circles toes. You can go first hills then toes or you can go first toes then hills, doesn't matter. Notice that various muscles into the legs, they are really in use when we do this. Okay, spread <coughs> feet three to four feet apart. Interlock the fingers, stretch, both hands up, palms upside down, elbows straight, knees straight. Deep inhale as we stretch the whole body towards up. Exhale, bend towards one side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Keep pushing the palms further down. Tiryak Tadasan, swaying palm tripos. Inhale back up and onto the second side inhale come back up we'll do one more time do with breath coordination and keep looking up toward the ceiling or at least corner of the ceiling. Back up and complete onto the second side. we feel the body internally immediately we can see what is happening relaxation any kind of sensations and separate the feet at the farthest extend both hands straight in front we'll do kati chakrasan waist rotation next deep inhale as we exhale twist the upper body to the one side keep on following one palm all the way back other hand will go onto the opposite side shoulder. Inhale back to center. Both arms parallel to the floor, parallel to each other. Exhale to the second side. The palms and elbows at the shoulder level all the time. Inhale back to center. We will do one more time. We are twisting only waist and above. Make sure our leg, feet, thigh, hips is not moving at all. Come back and complete onto the second side. Come back. Bring both the hands at the waist. Thumb tip will go onto the sacrum. Sacrum is the small bone at the root of the spine. We can push it down, we can roll the thumbs into clockwise direction, into anti-clockwise direction. We can keep on applying pressure there as we dip inhale, arch backward, look into the back wall, drop the head as low as possible. Exhale, come back up straight, inhale again. As we exhale, bend forward and down. Let the upper body be completely hang at the waist of the gravity without any resistance. Inhale, come back. And next, we will do twisted triangle. <coughs> Inhale into 
star position and we exhale grab the opposite side big toe with the hand other hand will go 90 degree up look up into the ceiling through the palm six seven inhale come back up exhale to the second side inhale come back up again one more time come back and complete onto the second side so knees straight elbow straight come back and revolving triangle next Parivrutta Trikonasana. As we exhale, bring the hand outward of the other side of ankle and the other hand will go up into the ceiling, vertically up and look up directly over the head into the ceiling through the palm or through our own thumb. Inhale up, exhale the second side. Parivrutta Trikonasana, revolving triangle pose. We need to twist further down. Inhale up. One more time, both the side. Slowly, do not jerk the body. Come back up and complete onto the second side. come back and relax you can stand in Tadasan few seconds you can close the eyes breathe in and out normal front of the mat and I'll put Surya Namaskar mantras stay in samasthiti the four Surya Namaskar mantra with those repeated mantra ones roll the shoulders back and down Oh, 
ओके सिट डाउन इन स्क्वाटिंग पोज मलासन फिट कंप्लीटली फ्लैट ऑन अ फ्लोर इफ यू हैव डिफिकल्टी और कीपिंग द फिट फ्लैट ऑन अ फ्लोर ट्राई टू पुश द टोज लिटिल बिट आउट and we can kick the knees out also we can do some stretches here we can bring one palm into the floor raise other hand up look into the ceiling to the palm we can feel some stretches on the side of the trunk on to the second side with full awareness side also you can bring both the hands on the floor and get into the pole for the middle pole portion of the body and then you can raise both hands up you turn on both the side and next will the virabhadrasan four similar way we can grab the ankle with the same side hand lower the upper body as we raise the other hand up pull the folded leg up and push it out away from the body Yeah, I see many people able to do that, but still the trunk remains inclined. So try, try to slowly lower the trunk. And on to the second side. instead of looking down try to look straight <coughs> great for some practice few you can use chair or other steady stable secure furniture okay so let's lay down first on a stomach in makarasan for 10 seconds full relax next we do vipritana ukasan flying pose superman pose extend both hands in front legs together toes pointed out next inhalation raise the hands head chest chin up pull the legs up make sure the thighs is not touching the floor look up into the front wall as high as possible 
only the stomach and pelvis area stay on floor 5 4 3 2 1 and set the body down relax in makarasan crocodile pose feel the sensations relaxations Next, we'll do bow pose, Dhanurasan. Bring legs together, fold at the knees. Grab the ankles. Pull both legs up. The upper body will automatically lift it up. Look up as high as possible into the front wall. Keep pulling the legs up further. There will be some rocking movements. That's normal because of the breathing. It will massage internal organs into the abdomen area five four three two one very slowly with the body down back into crocodile pose makarasan full relax and let's turn around Lay down on the back. First we'll do the Naukasan. We'll do a half board pose. So lift the leg up, upper body up, just 30 degree with the floor. Both hands up, such a way so we can see the toenails through the fingernails. Elbow straight, knee straight. Try to keep back straight, but inclined. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly lay down in Shavasan. Separate feet, couple of feet apart, toes pointed out. Hands away from the body. Could be one foot, two feet, three feet. Wherever you feel comfortable, fingers semi-closed. Palms facing ceiling. Inhale, exhale, completely normal. A closed eye, we can feel the body internally. So that's what we do each time whenever we get into Shavasana. back and we will do Pavan Muktasan next hold at the right knee grab the lower right leg in both the hands bring the knee to the chest press it down deep inhale as we exhale lift the head up try to bring the face and knee together we can even cross them and hold as long as we can hold the breath out Inhale, bring the head back, straighten and relax. Right leg, on Muktasan, towards left side. Bring the folded left knee at the chest, press it down. Deep inhale, deep exhale. As we lift the head up and bring the face and left knee together, or you can even cross them. Hold in pose as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale, head back onto the floor, straighten and relax left leg, lay down into Shavasan for 10 seconds. Next we'll do Uttan Padasan, Ardhalasan, bring both legs together palms beside the hips, palms facing down to support the body. Next inhalation, raise both legs up, keeping the knees straight, toes stretch out, both legs perpendicular to the floor, this pose fixes any issue at the solar plexus, dislocation or any such things. 
10 more seconds in a pose then we will start lowering inch by inch we should not be folding the knees or we keep on stretching the toes out start lowering them now just inch by inch once the legs reach at 45 degree engage the core muscles to have the full control on the lowering legs no crash landing very gently softly make the legs down onto the floor and relax in shavasan 10 seconds Next, bring feet together. Next, we'll do leg rotation. Raise the right leg up, keeping the knee straight, toes stretch out. Try to make the biggest circle possible. One, two, and three. Reverse the direction. Three, two, and one. Relax the right leg, lift left leg up, left knee straight, left toes pointed out. Biggest circle possible. One, two, and three. Reverse the direction, three, two, and one. We're not done yet. Now, first relax the left leg, then both legs together, align them. Lift both legs up, both knees straight, both, all the toes pointed out. And we will circle both the legs together. One, two, hold the palms onto the floor beside the hips to support the body. And three, then reverse the direction. Three, two, and one. If we do this, Okay, the relax in Shavasana for 10 seconds. If we do this 10 circles every day, then definitely we will see some fat melting at the stomach, at the abdomen area. I think I need to start this. And come back. Next, let's get into more of the inversion pose. Get into bridge pose. If you are unable to do inversions, then get into Matsyasan. For bridge pose, throat at both the knees, heels comes at the hips, grab the ankles and raise the lower back up. We can even bring our hands under the lower back to raise it even up higher. Make sure the feet stay flat on the floor. If you like to wait, do some variation over here, we can just raise one leg up toward the ceiling, one at a time, and we can replace knee straight toes pointed toward ceiling when we raise it up. Or if you are able to bring both the legs together, you can do that. And very slowly bring the body back to floor lay down in Shavasan for 10 seconds then we will transition into Matsyasan where everyone else 
also maybe in Matsyasan, whoever are able to do inversion, they are also in Matsyasan. In time, I will set up the audio for the Yog Nidra. Yep, transition into Matsyasan and stay in Matsyasan for 10 seconds. Oh, sorry, uh, 20 seconds. And whenever if you want to prepare yourself for Yoga Nidra, if you want to turn the lights down, if you want to cover yourself up, adjust the volumes, get closer to the device or whatever, should be fully comfortable, fully relaxed, should be completely following the instructions. Lay down in Shavasan. Let all the body parts, joints, muscles be on their own on the gravity. Feel the body weight on the floor. Close the eyes. Breathe in and out completely normal and let's follow the guided instruction now. कुछ समय के लिए अपने श्वास प्रश्वास की क्रिया पर ध्यान दें देखें कैसे सांस अंदर आ रही है और कैसे सांस बाहर जा रही है सांस प्रश्वास की क्रिया को नॉर्मल रखें और सारी चिंताओं से दुखों से थोड़े देर के लिए दूर रहें उनको दूर जाने दें अपनी ओर से ताकि आप पूरी तरीके से योग निद्रा का आनंद उठा सकें कुछ भी मत सोचिए अगर आपके दिमाग में थॉट्स आते हैं विचार आते हैं तो उनको आने दीजिए आप सिंपली अपने सांस प्रश्वास की क्रिया पर ध्यान दें अब हम ग्रेजुअल योगा निद्रा स्टार्ट करेंगे तो अपने ध्यान अपने मन को आपके पैरों के ऊपर लेके जाएं और पंजों की उंगलियों को ध्यान में रखें जैसे जैसे मैं आपके शरीर के नाम लेते जाऊं आप उस अंग पर ध्यान दें आपके पैर के पंजे आपके पैर की एड़िया दोनों पंजे पूरी तरीके से रिलैक्स्ड हुए आपके पैर की पिंडलियां घुटने जंगास आपके हिप्स आपकी लोअर बैक पीठ का पीठ का हिस्सा 
पीठ का ऊपर का हिस्सा और आपकी पूरी स्पाइनल कॉर्ड आपकी पूरी बैक रिलैक्स हुई अब अपने ध्यान को आपके शोल्डर के ऊपर लेके आइए कंधे आपके दोनों अपर आर्म्स हाथों की घुटनिया हाथों का निचला भाग हाथ के पंजे और हाथों की उंगलियां पूरी तरीके से रिलैक्स हुई अपने ध्यान को आपके पेट के ऊपर लेके जाएं, आपका पेट आपकी नाभि आपका सीना कॉलर बॉन्स पूरा ट्रंक रिलैक्स हुआ अब आपके गले को रिलैक्स कीजिए गर्दन आपके सिर का पीछे का हिस्सा साइड का हिस्सा आपके सिर का ऊपर का हिस्सा माथा नाक आंखें गाल कान आपकी दाढ़ी और पूरा फेस आपका पूरा हेड पूरा सिर और पूरा शरीर रिलैक्स हुआ अभी कुछ देर इसी अवस्था में लेटे रहें और रिलैक्सेशन का आनंद उठाएं इस समय आप पूरी तरीके से रिलैक्स हैं आपके दिमाग में कोई भी थॉट्स कोई भी विचार नहीं आ रहे हैं और अगर आ भी रहे हैं तो भी वो आपको बॉर्डर परेशान नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि आपका शरीर पॉजिटिव एनर्जी से वाइब्रेट कर रहा है वाइब्रेट करते हुए सारे नेगेटिव विचारों को दूर रख रहा है ताकि आपका शरीर और दिमाग दोनों ही पूरी तरीके से रिलैक्स हो जाएं। अगर आपके शरीर में अभी भी आपको महसूस हो रहा है कि नेगेटिव एनर्जी या गलत विचार शरीर के अंदर हैं तो इमेजिन कीजिए कि जैसे कि सूर्य की किरणें आपके शरीर में राइट साइड से दाएं साइड से आपके शरीर के ऊपर पड़ रही हैं तो लेफ्ट साइड से बाएं साइड से नेगेटिव एनर्जी गलत विचार सारे के सारे बाहर जा रहे हैं दाएं ओर से पॉजिटिव एनर्जी आपके शरीर में भर रही है 
और बाई ओर से पूरी नेगेटिविटी दूर जा रही है आपका शरीर पूरी तरीके से पॉजिटिव एनर्जी के द्वारा भर रहा है जैसे जैसे पॉजिटिव एनर्जी आपके शरीर में भर रही है नेगेटिव एनर्जी आपके शरीर को छोड़ रही है जो भी आपके शरीर में पेन है दुख है चिंताएं हैं सारी की सारी दूर जा रही हैं जैसे जैसे पॉजिटिव एनर्जी दाएं ओर से आ रही है दाएं ओर से आते हुए बाएं ओर तक फुल आपके शरीर को कर रही है आपका शरीर पॉजिटिव एनर्जी से वाइब्रेट कर रहा है कुछ देर इसी विचार को यूज करें जब तक आपका शरीर पूरी तरीके से फुल ना भर जाए तब तक इसी विचार को सोचते रहें दाएं ओर से लाइट आ रही है बाएं ओर से नेगेटिव एनर्जी दूर जा रही है आपका शरीर फुल भर रहा है पॉजिटिविटी से कोई भी बीमारी चिंता कुछ भी आपके शरीर में नहीं बच रहा है सारा का सारा बाहर जा रहा है अब अपने मन को फिर से धीरे से अपने सांस प्रश्वास की क्रिया के ऊपर वापस लेकर आए और देखें आपकी सांस प्रश्वास की क्रिया कैसे चल रही है सांस अंदर आ रही है सांस बाहर जा रही है सिंपली इस प्रक्रिया को ध्यान दें अब धीरे से अपने पैरों की उंगलियों को हिलाएं, हाथों की उंगलियों को हिलाएं, पैरों को हिलाएं, हाथों को हिलाएं, अपने हाथों को ऊपर करके फिंगर्स को अपने हाथों की उंगलियों को इंटरलॉक करके एक अच्छे से स्ट्रेच करें बॉडी को और सांस छोड़ते हुए रिलैक्स करें both hands up or the body rub the palms against each other medyam warm dandak purja place the warm hand over the eyes open and close eyes few times in dark slowly slide the hands down over the face gently open the eyes bring both hands side of the body perpendicular to the body palms facing down bring both legs together fold at the knees bring the heels at the hips dip in hell as we exhale drop both the knees together towards left turn the head towards right push the palms into the floor for better stretches at the spine inhale back to center exhale to the second side push palms into the floor and feel the stretches Inhale 
back to center again. Let's do one more time. Knees together onto the floor, towards left, hand towards right. Back to center and complete onto the second side. Knees towards right, head towards left for a few seconds. Then bring the whole upper body towards right and stay on right for at least two or three breaths in and out. Very slowly with the help of elbows, palms, bring the body up back into any comfortable sitting posture. <coughs> Okay, let's do Anulom Vilom Prayam for a minute. Like a Vishnu Mudra on right hand. Deep breath in from left. Use the thumb tip to block the right nostril. Then use the ring fingertip to block the left nostril. Open up the right and breathe out through right. Deep inhale on right. Block the right nostril and open up the left. So left to right, right to left. Alternate breathing fashion or Nadi Shuddhi Pranayam have multiple names. Try to do deep breath in and deep breath out from left to right, right to left. You can chant any slok in mind, coordinating with breathing. And complete the last round. Relax when you breathe out on left. Next do Brahmari Pranayam. We'll do three times and followed by 10 seconds of Sambhavi Mudra. Mm. Okay, let's conclude the session. Bring the palms on top of each other in lap. Relax shoulders, back straight. Close the eyes and keep them closed till end. All together we will chant Mahamrityanja Mantra three times. Followed by short meditation. During meditation try to keep awareness. That's Sahasrara Chakra, the crown of the head. Then we will chant one Omkar and closing prayer. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukumeva Bandhanat Pradyor Mukshiyam Amrutat Om Trayambakam
त्र्यंबकम यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धनम पुर्वारुकुमेवपंदनात्मृत्योर्मुक्षियमानुतात्त्रयंबकम्यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धनम् पुर्वारुकुमेवपंदनात्मृत्योर्मुक्षियमानुतात् योगेशम सच्चिदानंदम वासुदेवं व्रजप्रियं धर्मसंस्थापकं वीरं कृष्णं वन्दे जगद्गुरुं श्रीकृष्णं वन्दे जगद्गुरुं ओम सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कस्तित दुख भागवे ओम शांति 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 रब्द बाम अगेन स्थित दर मेक्डेम बाम जंबर ऊर्जा लेट्स वॉम हैंड्स ओवर द आइडेंट फेस फिल वॉम and make a cup of the palms and cover the eyes under the palms. Open and close eyes few times in dark. Slowly slide the hands down. Spread the fingers apart on a face. Gently open the eyes. Rub the palms one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head, neck, shoulders, arms. Trunk, legs, back, <coughs> throughout the body to spread the energy within. Aryom Tatsat Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Happy weekend everyone and have a nice holidays. Again, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to let you guys unmute. We'll stay for a few more seconds and again, happy Gita Jayanti to everyone. Who is this connection? 1001? Radio के TV चला जाए नाम बोलो तो 1001 लेके उसके लिए। अरे मरो तो मजे मरो ना। जिंदगी जीली हो गई यार कर लिया। कुछ पाने के लिए निरेगा सब पालिया सब हो गया। उसी से मरो। रोते रोते क्यों मर रहे? ये रह गया वो रह गया वो अरे ऐसे आप आप अटूट से इच्छा रखोगे फिर वो अटूट ना करने के लिए मैं नहीं चाहता हूँ तो इतना मार्ट क्वेश्चन जरूरत है अभी क्या नहीं गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू हेलो जैसी कृष्णा थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्ते 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 एवरीवन टू एवरीवन हैव अ वंडरफुल डे Good. 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 Good.